Noong Miyerkules, October 8, formal nang naghain ng reklamong concubinage o pakikiapid si Mary Christine Jolly laban sa estranged husband nitong si Derek Ramsey at sa dating karelasyon ni Derek na si Angelica Panganiban. I found um, an article of uh, Angelica admitting to the fact that she knew that Derek was married and that they still lived in together. There was a section in, in the article that I was completely like baffled when she it stated here that um, her handler, Chris Navarro, um, asked her whether she knew that Derek was married. And then she stated that matagal mo na itong alam, that's Chris stating, and she said, Oo naman, tita. Bago ako pumasok sa relationship na to, alam ko naman yan. Yet she still moved in and lived with him. You know, so this is pretty much proof in itself that they indeed, indeed lived in together. Isang mensahe naman ang naisiparating ni Mary Christine kay Angelica. It's not a personal attack against her. And uh, it's, 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 it's just unfortunate that this concubinage case it cannot just be directed at one accused. Mm -hmm. It has to be on both of them. Because if I had a choice, I would basically only accuse Derek for this crime. Nanindiga naman ang kampo ni Derek na pawang panggikipit lang ang ginagawang paghahain ni Jolly ng kasong concubinage. Through his social media account, humingi ng dispensa si Derek sa dating girlfriend dahil sa pagkakadawit nito sa gulo. Wala pang komento ang kampo ni Angelica hinggil sa hinaing reklamo ni Mary Christine. But last Thursday, Angelica posted a picture of her and boyfriend John Lloyd Cruz on her Instagram account with a caption, This is us happy. God be with you. As my interpretation, I would um, take it as she's now in a very happy place because she has moved on from someone like Derek and she wishes me good luck having to deal with such a man. Samantala, isang balita daw ang nakarating sa kampo ni Jolly na may tumutulong na maimpluensyang tao upang maibasura ang reklamo laban kay Derek. Ayon sa aming informante, nakatanggap na raw ng tawag. Nakatanggap na ng tawag ang kepe. Hindi si uh, Piscal de Mayakyak, no? kundi ang kanyang mga superior. At uh, napagsasabihan na na wala kami magagawa, ilalaglag namin itong kasong ito. Dahil nakatanggap kami ng tawag mula sa isang maimpluensyang pamilya na nasa puder. At kailangan namin ilaglag ang kasong ito. For me, I'm a little bit confused when that statement came out from Derek's lawyer stating that we didn't win, but we haven't received a resolution. For me, it's like, first of all, he already has no balls as a man. And second, he's trying to use influence to sway in his favor. I mean, he loses both ways, you know? For me, I think he has already lost his battle a long time ago when he decided not to be a part of his son's life.